Welcome to this introductory presentation about HXDR, Hexagon Digital Reality. My name is Pascal Struppler and I'm the product manager of this platform. Really happy that all of you found your way in here. Let's start right. HXDR is Hexagon's cloud-based visualization and collaboration platform for spatial data and services. It is a space where the concepts that transform the way we live in are placed within accurate digital representations of the real world. So what did we just see? Let's start with the Hexagon content program. When we first created digital reality, we started with big data. With HXDR, we want to visualize entire cities in 3D, order photos of whole continents down to street level imagery, all together in one platform. With the Hexagon content program, there is already a provider for this large scale data. And due to it being hosted on Amazon AWS, it made it very easy for us to stream and visualize the data in our platform. Let me show you some of the large scale data that we visualize in HXDR. 3D city meshes. 3D city meshes are really the core content visualized in HXDR. Having whole city models in 3D allows you to do proper planning. It allows you to visualize your own 3D models in it or to license the data for more custom use cases. The recently released City Mapper 2 aerial hybrid camera allows mapping companies to capture cities down to a resolution of 2 to 5 cm GSD. 2D imagery. So here we see more traditional aerial products like orthophotos, near-infrared and oblique imagery coming from the content program. Typically the resolution here are somewhere below 15 to 30 cm GSD. Terrain and surface models. Terrain and surface models are the results of products like the Terrain Mapper SPL100 and similar aerial mapping devices. In HXDR, we are able to assess and use these elevation models in 3D. Mobile mapping data. Mobile mapping data is content from Pegasus or similar systems that are mounted on cars or carried around as backpack. Typically, whole cities or sections of it are mapped with these devices. And as an output, HXDR visualizes the resulting point clouds, potential meshes, as well as the panoramics that are typically shot every couple of meters. Now, aside from all this large scale content visualized in HXDR, another very interesting feature is to visualize your own reality capture data. These scans can either come from one of the Leica scanners like the P40, RTC360, BLK360 or our most recent addition to the BLK family, the blk to go or you can decide to just upload an arbitrary E57 dataset or even UAV mapping data. I will now give you a more insight into HXDR for reality capture and how we really focus on automation and simplicity. Now when uploading reality capture scans, they get autonomously meshed in the cloud using our so-called auto mesh feature. Even though we visualize point clouds as well, we really think that textured meshes are the future to work with within the reality capture domain. And with AutoMesh, HXDR does the meshing for you, fully automated and extremely efficient. With a lot of sensors, you also capture these 360 degree panoramas. These get cloud processed as well and are then available on HXDR for visualization and easy navigation, as you can see here. So these microservices really make a difference and remove some of the manual tasks normally required. And since the processing is done in the cloud, you don't require any local powerful hardware anymore. And by the way, the data is uploaded up in your private storage on Amazon AWS servers. Nobody else has access to it unless you decide to share it with others. Now, once your dataset is processed, you are able to view it within the digital reality. And even if your scan is not georeferenced yet, you can place it using simple tools like drag and drop, rotation or translation to quickly prototype a visualization. Once your visualization is done, it's time to share your reality capture model with customers or work colleagues. 
And here it's of course possible to just share the 3D visualization within HXDR, but even more useful is a tool we provide called Tours. With Tours you create simple camera paths by defining key viewpoints and like this guide your audience through the visualization. You can see this here. Viewpoints are added and in the end you get a tour within the 3D view that you can share with your audience. At any point the viewer can also pause the tour and explore the visualization himself. Now we said HXDR allows you to upload and visualize your own data set. But really you have the freedom to build your entire own digital reality. With HXDR we close the gap between large scale content, the content from this hexagon content program and your own private content. That means you are really free to place your content in the existing 3D city models or combine different data sets of yours together in one visualization. This is not only limited to terrestrial reality capture data, but you can also use UAV mapping data or even arbitrary 3D design files and content like CAD models. This allows you to use HXDR as a visualization sandbox. You can think of taking and uploading a CAD model uh, of a building that has been recently designed and place it in a 3D city model content from the content program to basically visualize and test it against the surroundings. Another use case are reality capture scans in the movie industry, where location scouts first of all want to visualize potential candidates of environments they scanned, um, and this as fast as possible of course, but then also these in virtual environments can be tested in HXDR with additional placed uh, 3D movie props or camera cranes that are available as 3D models. Last but not least, you can think of event planning, where you need to scan an environment of, let's say, an open-air festival location. Maybe this time using UAV photogrammetry. Next, you could combine it in HXDR with a 3D stage model, food stalls and so on to see how spaces can be organized in order to comply with the most recent COVID safety regulation, for example. Now, the last point I would like to touch on is machine learning for HXDR. Machine learning for us is a very important tool to improve data that is visualized, as well as create additional functionality. For this, I would like to present two examples. First, the clean processing of 3D city maps from our hybrid aerial cameras. During the capture, there are typically more, um, typically a lot of moving objects, especially like cars. And for removing those, machine learning really comes in really handy. Now the City Mapper 2 is a hybrid sensor. That means it captures not only images, but also lighter point clouds. And the moving car, of course, needs to be uh, removed from both of the point clouds, but also from the textures. And as we can see here, the results using deep learning are pretty impressive. Now another very useful thing we can do with machine learning is semantic understanding of maps. This means we classify each pixel in an image or points in a point cloud to be part of a semantic category. In our case, these categories can be grass, trees, rooftops, facades, streets, solar panel, water bodies, and so on. We are currently using an extent of 25 classes. The resulting semantic classifications can then be used to create new visualizations and add new features. One of these um, are our so-called white models. This isn't just non-textured um, version of the 3D city mesh, it's really simplified geometry that defines each building, in this case in LOD2. We use those white models as a clean, minimalized visualization, for example for architectural visualization or smart city use cases. Then we can extract objects like trees and with that an estimation of its type, form and height for further city vegetation analysis. Or we can just um, decide to hide them temporarily from the model, so to keep it clean from undesired clutter while we work on the city model itself. 
One can say that bringing reality capture data from just being points or a textured mesh to something truly machine readable unlocks a great potential to leverage this content in a whole lot more use cases. And with this, uh, we are at the end of this introductory presentation. To quickly recap, I briefly touched on how HXDR is streaming and visualizing large-scale content from the Hexagon content program. In HXDR for reality capture, we then saw how you can upload your own reality capture data to HXDR for visualization while profiting from the automation and the simplicity. We then went into the concept of combining your reality capture data, but also synthetic 3D models with large-scale content to build your own digital reality. And last but not least, I gave you an outlook of how we are using machine learning in HXDR. Now for each of these topics, we actually have dedicated presentations in this digital reality room, where the presenters are able to go into more detail. So I highly recommend you to join these sessions as well. You can find more information in the timetable of this room. Having said this, I'd like to thank you for joining. My name is Pascal Struppler and I wish you a nice day here at InterGeo. I'm also looking forward to meet you now in the Q&A session right after. Thank you.